My name is Jim Metrock, President of Obligation Incorporated, Obligation.org. I want to talk a little bit about a segment of Channel One that was uh, shown on May the 26, 2009. As we've picked this clip up, uh, the anchors have just gone over a few of the headlines in the news very briefly. And now Justin Finch is going to introduce the play of the week. And uh, think about the amount of school time lost for up to six million kids as this goes on. Now it's time to wrap up our last play of the week of the year. It's a basketball play from the ladies of Bismarck High School in Bismarck, North Dakota. Check it out. Aaron Hawkins has the ball up top, passes it to Ashton Waringa. A foul is called and she makes the shot. Let's see that again. Now that was a good play, but was it a great play? Was it a play that was worth sacrificing so much school time in so many schools across the nation? I don't think so. The purpose of the play of the week on Channel One News is to sneak in more advertising than is contractually allowed. Channel One is restricted to no more than two minutes of advertising per daily show. And this segment is usually sponsored by different companies. Gatorade was one major sponsor, but this one is being sponsored by a new television show that nobody has seen, and you'll see it uh, mentioned in just a moment. Thanks, ladies, for that great play, and thanks to everyone for sending us awesome plays all year. Check them out online at channel1.com. We're coming right back after this. Play of the Week is presented by Make It or Break It, a new ABC Family original series. Can teachers monitor what is being advertised to students uh, on Channel One? No, uh, they can't. And here's a good example. Uh, Make It or Break It was going to premiere a month after this ad ran. No teacher could possibly know the content. And if they knew, they would have turned the TV off immediately. Although it's on ABC Family Channel, uh, that channel often runs very unfamily friendly shows, and this is one of them. Uh, Make It or Break It is about teen athletes who are training for the Olympics. And you watch any of the episodes, and you can on the web, you see uh, like a, a young female athlete getting up, uh, a, a showing up at the training center early in the morning and all the girls are laughing about how she dragged herself out of her boyfriend's bed. Uh, the athletes, uh, teen athletes will go to a party and they'll, uh, one character says well, the party will end when the beer runs out or, if the, when, or when the cops bust them up. Channel One advertises a lot of things that unfortunately promote and glorify uh, teen alcohol use. The music you're hearing in today's show is by Dear Dakota. Go to channel1.com to check out their music video, artist photos, and listen to more great music. Why is rock music being heard in these public school classrooms? Well, because Channel One's in control. They decide uh, what they are going to advertise and not the school. In this case, a record company is promoting one of their new acts, and Channel One does this quite a lot. They'll have the music in this segment, they'll have it at the beginning of the show and at the end of the show, and so young people get a real taste for whatever band they're promoting. And taxpayers are paying for this. Uh, they're helping these record companies promote their bands and the record companies have a lot of money and also Warner Brothers has a lot of money but they're using tax money too enjoying your classes Harry what about your activities outside the classroom I can't help wondering if oh no no I mean she's brilliant but we're friends okay sorry to be his girlfriend. I happen to be his friend. 
These girls are going to kill me, Harry. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Oh, to be young and to feel love's keen sting. Rated PG. Well, let's be thankful for small favors. At least this was just a PG movie. Channel One has advertised so many raunchy, violent, sexually charged PG-13 movies in the past that at least, you know, this is PG. But what principal, what superintendent, what teacher could get up in front of a group of parents and defend that last 30 seconds as a proper use of school time? None of them can. And that's why parents, if the school won't throw Channel One out, parents need to demand that this be ended. There's no place for movie ads or ads for anything in a public school classroom. The stars you love and the movies you care about are at the 2009 MTV Movie Awards. Join the cast of Twilight as they drop a sultry sneak peek of their latest flick, New Moon. The 2009 MTV Movie Awards, hosted by Andy Samberg, Sunday, May 31st at 9, only on MTV. Everything that's advertised on Channel One is implicitly endorsed by the school. Otherwise, why is the school making young people watch these commercials? Uh, so MTV is getting endorsed by the school system when Channel One decides to run an ad for MTV, which they have over the years. MTV and Channel One have a real close connection. So uh, nobody's watching this, nobody's monitoring it, and that's why we have a problem.